This is to show you how to very quickly use eLocus 3D. eLocus 3D works on the Garmin uh, uh, Enreach Explorer Plus uh, GPS Satellite Data Communicator. So the first step that you want to do, of course, is to turn on your device. On the top of your device, on the right side of the antenna, you can see the power button. If you press and hold the power button, the screen appears and you must navigate to turn on where it is green highlighted and press the check key. And this turns on your device. Now when your device turns on, you immediately see the main menu. And there's many icons here and I'm going to focus only on two icons today. The location icon and the forms icon. The other icons you can explore at your leisure. Okay, so let us uh, move to the location icon to make sure to confirm that we have GPS coordinates of our location. Now you can see down at the bottom there's a navigation uh, circle and with four arrows up, down, right, and left. Okay, in addition at the bottom you can see two important keys a check mark key on the right side and an X key on the left side. So this a check mark is simply uh, similar to the enter key on your keyboard, okay? And the X key is like a back uh, key on your keyboard. Okay, so we're gonna be using these six keys um, on our device. So first let's move to the location icon. That's the icon there that you see. And so I'm going to obviously use the, the up key to move up one, and then the right key here, press it once, to move to location. So once I'm at location, I'm going to select it using the tick uh, check key here, okay? So I've selected that, and you can see very clearly that I have my latitude and longitude, okay? You can see the north and the east, and it's in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and decimal seconds. It also shows my elevation, the accuracy of my signal, and some other information. Okay. Once we're done um, seeing this and we want to go back to the main uh, screen, then we press the X key here once. Okay. So now we're back to the main screen. So we need to navigate to the next icon forms, which is up here in the top uh, left corner. So I'm going to again use my navigation keys. So I'm going to press the left one two times, once, twice, until I reach forms. Now I'm going to select forms by pressing the, the check mark key. So when I do that, I see the form called locust and it's highlighted in green. So this is the form I want. This is the only form on your, on your Garmin device. So to select it, you press uh, the check key, okay? And now we see the locust form, okay? And we see a list of the different types of locusts that you may see in the field, okay? So when you're on a survey, essentially, you select from the list the locusts that you see. So for this example, let's imagine that we see a mature swarm and we see second and third um, uh, instar hopper band, okay? So I'm going to go down my list here until I find Upper band. And see, I'm using the down navigation key to go down my list. I can use the up one to go up my list. This is how we navigate, okay? So we go up, and there I see at the top, hopper band, black, yellow. Okay, I want to select that. So I use the, the check mark key, tap it once, okay? And I need to move uh, down once so that the hopper band is selected in green. And now, I uh, use the tech, the the check, the check mark to uh, select it. Okay, so that's selected, and you can see now it's written underneath hopper band. It says hopper band. So this is confirmation that you have selected hopper band from your list. Okay, now let us go down to mature swarm. So here's mature swarm. You see it's blank underneath. It's green highlighted. So we select it with the uh, check key. We move down arrow, we select mature swarm, it's highlighted in green, and we select, uh, we check key, and now it's selected. You can see mature swarm, mature swarm. We're going to do the same thing going down to 
proper instar. Okay, so here we have second instar and third instar. Remember, so I'm going to select first the second instar. Okay, so with the check key, I move down, highlight in hopper instar two, check key, and you see now that has been recorded. And when I move down my list to the third instar, okay, same thing, check key, down arrow, check key, and that's been recorded. Okay, let's move out down my list and let's just by accident, let's say that we select a fifth instar, okay? I said, oh, but you know, there's no fifth instar here um, at the site where I am. So I made a mistake. How do I um, get rid of this um, fifth instar? So I simply um, select it again, okay? Move up so that the blank is selected in green, highlighted in green, and I uh, press the check mark. So now you see no more fifth instar, so you're okay. Okay, the next uh, information you have to fill out is the area. Okay, now, this area can be different things. When there's no locus present, then this is the area of your survey. When there are locus present, then this is the, uh, the area of the infestation. When there is control, when there's treated, then this is the area of control. So in this case, let's imagine that our area um, is 120 hectares. Okay, so in order to write 120, I have to press the, the check mark, and then my keyboard appears. And at the top of the keyboard are numbers. And you can see the first one is green, so that's one. So that's exactly what I want, so I press the check key. So then you see one appear in, in the space. Now I want 20, so I have to uh, navigate to two using the right arrow, and then the check key, and you can see now two. So I have one, two. So I'm missing a zero for 120. So again, with the right key, I navigate to zero until it's highlighted in green, and then I press the check key. So now you see 120, so this is what I want. When I'm finished, then I need to press the down key to move down through my keyboard to the very bottom where it says done and it's highlighted in green. Once that's highlighted in green, then you can press the check key. Okay, so there you can see my area hectares is 120. And again, this is a required field because you can see the asterisks, um, the symbol after the, the hectares. So you must complete this in order to send the, the report. Otherwise you cannot send it. Now, lastly, um, again, if you treated this area, then you should indicate treated. So again, you select it, okay? You go down and uh, you use the, the check mark um, key and then you have treated, okay? So in this case, the area represents the treated area, the area that you controlled, okay? Now, if, the treat, if you did not treat, so let's go back to treated, okay? Delete that. Okay, so there's no treated. Now this area represents 120 hectares infested with second and third instar hopper bands and a mature swarm. Okay, so once you're happy with your record, then you can send the message. So you, you press the, the down arrow until the send message is highlighted. And then again, you press the, the check um, key to send that message. And it'll be sent now in real time through the satellite using that antenna, okay, to your National Locus Center. And then later on, um, it will be received by FAO, okay. Once the message is sent, you will hear a small little beep. It'll be beep, okay. Now, as the message is being sent, you can go ahead and, and fill out a new form if you're at a different location, okay. Now, remember, um, this GPS has a very strong battery life, so you can keep this GPS on all day long. And this is what I suggest. Turn it on first thing in the morning uh, when, you're, when you're in the field and keep it on all the time. In this way, you can be assured that you always have the latest um, latitude and longitude, the coordinates of your location. So when you're ready to fill out the form, you can do that. Okay. Let's try now another form when there's no locus present. Okay, so how do we do that? We select again forms, okay? Select the locus forms, uh, always with this tick, uh, with the check mark key, 
Okay, now we don't select anything from the list except for the area. And this now is your area of survey. So here we are, area of survey. Okay, we reached it. Okay, I again use the check key. Okay, and let's say my area of survey was 250 hectares. So again, I move uh, to the two, use the check key. Okay, then I move again to the five. Okay, I can move back and forth, okay, to the five. So there you see two five. And then I need to move to zero. Okay, and I'm at zero and the tech check key. So now I have 250, okay. Now I'm done. So remember, I move that down arrow until, high, until done is highlighted in green. And I use the check key, okay. And I'm finished now. I don't have to fill out anything else on this form. And I want to send the message. So down arrow two times, check key. And now I'm going to press that check key and it'll send the message, okay? So now your messages are being sent. At the top here, you can see the time of day on the left side. And you, on the right hand side, you can see the number, the percent of your battery remaining, 46%, okay? So again, remember, Keep your GPS on all of the time, okay? Now, the other uh, icons you may explore um, at your convenience. When you're finished with the GPS, of course, you have to turn it off. To turn it off, okay, you have the button at the top, the same one you used to turn it on. Press and hold, okay? You see turn off, I move up to turn off, and I turn it off with the check key, okay? Now, if you have some messages that are being sent, it's going to warn you here, okay? At this point, you don't want to turn it off. You need to wait for those messages to be sent. So you would say cancel, okay? Now, if you have no messages to be sent, and they've already been sent, you will not see that message, okay? Now, a few other um, tips here. At the bottom here, you can see a case, okay? And this is where... Uh, we, ch we can charge the, uh, the battery. So this is a USB, okay, a mini USB that you can connect uh, to an outlet, okay, using a USB um, cable. So this is how we charge a battery. You cannot take the batteries out of this device, okay? It must be plugged in to charge, okay? So you can charge this either um, in your office at home or if you have a, a USB uh, charger in your vehicle, you can do the same there, okay? And it takes just a short time to charge, and then your, your GPS is ready to be used, okay? Remember, the battery is very strong, huh? and uh, it can last um, for a full day of survey or control operations. This ends uh, the uh, basic training of using the Garmin uh, InReach Explorer Plus, what we call eLocus 3G. Thank you.